Hi, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're here to continue our series on the Dell PowerEdge R530 server. In this video, we're going to show you how to set your IP address, and we're going to do it two ways, show you how to set your static IP and via DHCP. Let's get going. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by today to learn a little bit more about the Dell PowerEdge R530 server. Do us a favor if you find anything in this video useful, click that like and smash that subscribe. All right, so what this video is going to cover is how to set your IP address, and we're going to show you two ways or two methods. We're going to do uh, static IP and we're going to do DHCP. Let's get going. All right, we're going to show you how to set the IP address on your Dell PowerEdge R530 server. You will need a NIC or a network card and an active network connection. And there's two different options for setting your IP address, and we're going to show you both options. Uh, the first one that we're going to show you is uh, via DHCP, and this is automatically going to pull your IP address. And then the second option that we're going to show you is the static IP, which you will have to set manually. All right, so let's start with the DHCP option. So what we're going to need to do is to get into our lifecycle controller. And this will be um, you know, pretty simple when you are on your boot screen. You're just going to click F10. And when you click F10, that's going to take you into your lifecycle controller. It will take a little bit of time for it to, uh, to pull up, so you know, give it a minute. When you get in, you're going to go to Settings, which will be on the left side, and you're going to click Settings. After you click setting, it's going to pop up with two options. You're going to want to click network settings. After you click network settings, you're going to need to select the network port that your Cat5 cable is plugged into. Uh, in this case, it's the uh, Broadcom Extreme for us. After that, we're going to go to the IP address source. Click DHCP. Once you do that, you're just going to go to finish. Click finish. And this is actually going to um, apply the updates. It will take a second for the updates to, uh, to go into effect, and this will automatically set up the IP address, which will give the server internet access. So this is the first way to, uh, to set your IP address uh, via DHCP. Now we will show you how to do it uh, via static IP. All right, we're going to show you the second method via static IP. This is going to be uh, actually pretty similar overall, but it's going to be slightly different. As opposed to uh, going to F10 into the lifecycle controller like we did for the DHCP, we're going to hit F2 on the system setup during post. This is going to take us to a few different options. We're going to want to click on iDRAC settings. This will take us to another screen that will have a whole bunch of options. Um, we're going to want to scroll all the way down to network click network and then it's going to give us uh, all the network settings, the common settings, the IPv4 settings. We're going to want to go down to the IPv4. Um, we're going to go to enable DHCP and actually change it to disabled. Once you do that, you can manually type in the uh, static IP address and the static gateway. Uh, you're going to want to put in 192.168.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.